Alright, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of these Girl Scouts Thin Mint Spites. Alright, price of this normally $12.59. It was $3.60 off, so basically $9.8.99. Then take a closer look. Alright, sorry, I don't have my tripod, so I'm going to be doing this with one hand. Alright, Remarkable Everyday Chocolate since 1914. Edward Mark Chocolatier EST, established in 1914. Girl Scouts Thin Mint Bites, you can see. Normally, I don't remember seeing any green stuff in Thin Mint Bites and Thin Mint, see? So I don't know why they did that, but... Girl Scout Cookie Inspired Flavor, Crispy Center with Mint and Dark Chocolate, all right? No preservatives or artificial, artificial flavors. Net weight, 20 ounce, 567 grams. Serving suggestion, all right, enlarge to show details. Let's take a look, you can see it has these preparations to tear it apart. Okay, Girl Scout Cinnamon Bites, so simple yet so remarkable. Uh, since 1914, our family has been crafting timeless sweet recipes and you just discovered one of our favorite snacks. Inspired by the iconic flavor of Girl Scout Thin Mints cookies, these mint chocolate flavored bites are sure to be a flavor, sorry, <laughs> sure to be a favorite of Girl Scout cookie fans. You know, perfect crispy center, alright, mint flavored cake, uh, what is that, coating? <laughs> sorry. Uh, enrobed with sustainably sourced cocoa. Girl Scouts powers life-changing experiences for girls. This officially licensed by Girl Scouts of the USA. Um, all right, a non-profit. All right, this is a licensed by them. Girl Scouts name, mark, and all associated trademarks are logo types, including Thin Mints and the trefoil design, are owned by Girl Scouts of the USA. Edward Mark Brands is an official GS USA licensed vendor. There's their. UPC code, and this is best before May 8th, 2025, my birthday. <laughs> All right, this is per was purchased on March 6th, 2024, so basically it lasts a year and two months. Okay, nutrition facts. 20 servings per container. Serving size is about 9 pieces, 28 grams, 140 calories per serving, 7 grams fat, 9%, saturated fat, 5 grams, 27%, 55 milligrams of sodium, 2%, 19 grams of carbs, 7%, 1 gram of fiber, 2%, 16 grams of sugar, which includes 15 grams of added sugar, 30%, 1 gram of protein, uh, 30 milligrams of calcium, 2%, 0.7 milligrams iron, 4%, and 70 milligrams of potassium, 2%. Okay, and we got the ingredients, white confectionery coating, which is sugar uh, and palm kernel oil. Sorry, it's like making too much glare here. All right, sugar, palm kernel oil, non-fat milk powder, whole milk powder, whey powder, palm oil, soy lecithin as an emulsifier, and vanilla. Then the dark chocolate is made with sugar, chocolate liquor, uh, cocoa butter, butter oil, soy lecithin as an emulsifier, and pure vanilla. Right, then there's chocolate cookie made with enriched flour, wheat flour. Uh, the enriched flour is made with wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, thymine, mononitrate, riboflavin, and folic acid. Then there's sugar, um, cocoa processed with alkali. There's palm oil, high fructose corn syrup, corn flour, chocolate liqueur, salt, dextrose, sodium bicarbonate, soy, and soy lecithin. Then the color added um, is turmeric, tum uh, spirulina, Concentrate up and apple concentrate and then peppermint oil contains wheat milk and soy and If you're allergic to other stuff, um, you need to know it's made on equipment that processes peanuts tree nuts wheat milk soy eggs and sesame So if you're super allergic, then you'll want to be careful Shared by mark uh, Edward mark brands Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania sustainable cocoa store in a cool dry place, All right? You don't want to let this get hot. It's gonna melt and all clump into a big blob all right, anyways, this has the peel tab. I only have one hand, so let me open this up and I'll be back. All right, well, that didn't go as planned. I tore it and it came out like that. So I'm gonna now tear from the side. All right, so we got that and it is also zip blocked together. So, oh, I'm gonna need two hands to unzip that. Oh, actually, there we go. All right, and there we go. That's what they look like. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a couple. That's what they look like. Okay, let's, they're pretty small like whoopers. Um, if you've eaten those before, or, um, I forgot what the other brand is, the, the one that comes in a little red tub. Oops. Hmm. 
Okay. Um, I got a test. If these will just melt in your hands, most likely they will. So if you're holding a bunch, yeah, you don't want to hold these in your hand. They're going to melt. So don't grab a handful of them if you're planning to hold it for a while. All right. So that's what the little crispy thing in the center looks like. And there you go. The little cookie in the middle is like um, almost like an Oreo texture. Mm -hmm. Except if you put these in milk, you're not going to get the cookie to turn soft. <laughs> Okay, so as far as Thin Mints go, flavor-wise, it's pretty close. Texture-wise, there's a lot more chocolate than you would get on a Thin Mint. So, is that the layer of chocolate is super thick. The chocolate and mint layer. So, Keep that in mind. Um, it's almost like, um, I mean, they are very tasty, but if you're expecting like a exact like Thin Mint kind of thing, this is more like if you're eating a Thin Mint with a Hershey's chocolate like on top, like <laughs> you get a lot more chocolate. So when you bite into it, you have a thicker layer of that chocolate all around the little crispy cookie center. Um, but they are pretty good. They're nice. You can't, they're not really like good for keeping like in your palm. So you do want to kind of hold it in the bag and just like grab, grab them out as you eat them. Don't grab like a whole bunch and then pop one in our mouth one at a time. Okay. Because otherwise you're going to end up with a mess all over your hands. Um, not really much else to say about it. If you like the flavor of Thin Mints and you like the texture of chocolate with a, a bit of a crunch to it, then you'll love these. I think these are really nice. Um, but if you're looking for a lower chocolate to cookie ratio, like how Thin Mints are, then this is something like more like a chocolate heavy. All right, not really much else to say. Um, they come in this nice resealable bag, so you don't need to eat them all at once. But again, you do need to keep in a cool, dry place. So when you're eating them, you probably either want to keep it in the bag or pour them into like another dish. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.